Hey guys, it's Keralis, welcome back, and today we gonna build an XP tower, an XP farm tower I should say. And the idea is the same as in my let's play, it's a tower where mobs get up, they fall down, take a lot of damage impact, and you can basically just one hit them, and uh, well, they will die and give you a lot of XP. Uh, the texture pack I'm using here is the Sortex and it's the fan version. It's a great modern looking texture pack, so you can just check out the link in the description if you want to use it. And as well, if you want more inside information on how mob spawners work, my good friend Soccer made a really good tutorial on, uh, on that part. So just check out the link in the description or just press the link which is flashing in the video or should be flashing in the video somewhere now. Uh, it's a great tutorial. Uh, I've learned a lot from it, so you should really pay him a visit and check out the tutorial. As you can see here, here is the spawner. Uh, the, the idea is the spawner is here, which spawns mobs. The water current makes them go to this secondary chamber. As you can see, there's a zombie going in here. At the moment, it pushes the, the mobs into the tower and they will float up all the way up. It takes some time sometimes, but well, they will get up there and they will fall. And the tower itself here is 20 blocks or 22 blocks from ground level, but the mobs fall at 20 blocks. I think mobs die at 23 blocks, uh, so please keep that in mind so you don't make a too high tower. As you can see, he's falling down, he's taking a lot of damage impact, and we can see another mob is coming up. If something which I have made here is, as you can see, the mobs fall exactly 21 blocks, because the line rule is 20 blocks, it's ground level, and I've made one block beneath that, so it's 21 blocks. And what I did here is actually took it up one block, so I can press that to make them come down, I can press that to make them keep in place, so they don't jump about. And now I can just one hit the mobs and get the XP. Which is pretty neat. And as well I've made a secondary room here, which obviously looks the, the spawner itself. So it's looking pretty good guys, I'm really happy about the design here. And this is the same method I will be using or I am using in my let's play. But it looks a bit different because it's crafted in a survival mode. So guys, let's start building. I have actually prepared the area for you guys, as you can see. I have built every single step of the way, so if you want to grab the world save download of this project, you can just check the link in the description and check it out yourself, if that's what you want. Uh, but we're gonna start here, as you can see. This is usually how a place looks like when you find it, you have emptied the goods from the chests, all the goodies are gone, you have placed the torches around the spawner so no baddies will spawn. And the thing is, now we want to make sure that the spawner is three blocks away from the walls in each direction like this. I know I think the ideal is eight blocks, but we're gonna use three on this part. So, three blocks from here, three blocks from there, three blocks from there, and from there. And now choose the direction where you want your tower to be. In my case it will be this way, so I will remove this way, I'm just gonna put on creative because I don't want to carve this area out by picking my picking axe. With my picking axe, exactly. So take away this wall and make it four blocks away from the spawner itself. And as well take down the floor level two beneath the spawner. So it will look something like this, as you can see. It's two blocks underneath, and you should really keep the torches just so the baddies won't spawn and surprise you in a later stage of the build. The thing we're gonna do now is adding a trench in the far end, and the trench should be four blocks below the floor level here. So, or sorry, three blocks beneath. So one, two, three, and all the way across. There we go. So three blocks down and continue making the chamber. So this will be the area where our mob spawn obviously. They will be pushed down by water coming to this chamber and this chamber will push them inside of the tower itself. So this is 
a chamber which is four in height is just one above the floor level of the spawner and from the trench it's one two three four five blocks out so five blocks and one away from the trench and just one above the floor level here and as well add a hole in the wall here just in the middle as you can see three blocks on each side and the hole here should be three in depth and inside of this we're gonna take it out to ground level and as well as you could use this if you don't if you find a spawner which is pretty far down you can just just uh, turn it around on the ground or even make this hole go down so the mobs will drop down 22 blocks or 23 blocks by 23 blocks will kill them so don't make that happen and you could have a spawner room or a killing killing area just underneath here somewhere you can even even turn the spawner i think this way and make the mobs drop just behind this wall but i'm a bit unsure if that might be just too far away from the spawner to spawn mobs but well you have to try it out yourselves i'm just going to put on a light because it's getting quite dark here so light on and as well once that's done we're obviously going to have a wall here we're going to place some signs so take out your signs place the first sign here and the second one down on the bottom here and continue this step all the way until you reach the top in the next step which we have here i have placed all the signs leading all the way up and i'm going to place some water so take out your water bucket and place the water just across the whole wall here as you can see oops that was one too many delete that as you can see now we get an even current going down all the way here but the problem is the current here won't keep us from hitting the hole in the wall so we need something which pushes our, ourselves in and by doing that we're gonna do take two blocks two blocks as you can see that's the middle so take your bucket and place it on this block here and the same on the other side and this when i get dropped i'm getting pushed into the middle and into the tower and now get add some water inside of here so every empty block besides the first one here shouldn't be added so all the way to the top and as well guys when you're building something above ground level and want to make sure the height is correct i usually place like four blocks in one material and the fifth block i use a different one so now i know that this stone block here is exactly five blocks above above ground level so it's a very easy way to go in the next step i've actually placed the tower itself so it's 5 10 15 20 blocks and the turning point is at 20 blocks so if the mobs come out here they will fall 20 blocks and that won't kill the mob it will do a lot of damage on it but it won't kill it it will die on 23 blocks if it's a zombie for example and it will get a lot of damage impact sorry i just lost myself there uh, and it will get a lot of damage impact on 20 blocks or 21 or 22 so we're gonna actually carve out a small hole here which will get the mob a lot of damage impact and that's what we like so we could use this area to build something like this making the mob fall just one block from the tower itself but i won't be using that i will actually make the mobs fall two blocks away from the tower like this so place that there i'm just gonna take some glass and place it here so you can easily see what's going on actually take away this and this and there we go so it's looking something like this now what we're gonna do is placing some water inside of here as you can see i've left this top part without water and that's because i'm gonna place a block here for now I'm going to take a sign and place it just on the bottom here like this take my water bucket and place the water inside of here 
like this as you can see now we got an even nice current going all the way here to the end and our mobs will be pushed and dropped off the ledge here so now what we're gonna do or want to do is to remove the stone the block we just placed and make sure to place down a water bucket there as well so put down a water bucket there and there we go now our mobs will be easily pushed off and fall down so we're just gonna close off the tower you can use just which material you use i'm using the materials which i used in the before progress parts so as you can see close it off and put it all the way to ground level and that's what i've done in the next step here so you can see i've added some glowstone here on top the mobs are coming up getting pushed off the ledge here and falling down exactly in this case 22 blocks so it will make a lot of damage impact on them and what we can do here is for example uh, i've noticed some of the mobs uh, they tend to die actually when falling 22 blocks because they get some damage from the water inside so i'm actually going to take it up one block to 20 uh, to 21 blocks of fall damage and i'm just going to take out the sticky piston place it over here actually going to take as well a glass block whoops now i did too much things at one time there we go take it back and put it like this carve out the area here behind and that's just to place down some nice materials and put down some redstone wiring and we actually don't need that much we actually just need that for this part so that's what we need as you can see we got ourselves that place it something like this you can actually put a glowstone here as well just to make the place look a bit more nice and cozy and take out the redstone and a redstone and our liver there we go and connect it oops it's one too many to be honest sandstone back and connect it here so now we have this part this will come out and the mobs will land on the glass here just gonna fill in this area to make it look, look pretty very quickly there we go and as well as you noticed before some of the zombies they jump about quite a, quite a much so we want to make sure that they stay in place and by doing that if we put this up as you can see they will land here and we take gonna take it two blocks up and put a piston there as well so i'm just gonna turn around put a piston here if i succeed i have no idea there we go put for example sandstone on it oh let me out of here there we go i am out and we're going to connect that as one well, one as well to another lever which will be here like this so now for example this one will be down the mobs will fall down 21 blocks when they are here we can just take it up take this down and that will keep them in place as you can see here and as well for the other side if we dig in here i'm just gonna actually turn off the light and see if some mobs spawn here uh, did i lights are off it's daytime hopefully some mobs will still spawn even though it's very light in here and they do because i can hear them so what we're gonna do here is to place a door by doing that we can place two pistons like this take out the wiring to here Put another lever as you can see now we have ourselves a very nice door going here and close it off so it looks nice and cozy like this and as well this room will be a room where we could see our mobs spawn beneath and we're gonna carve it out take it in about three blocks and take it all the way down here so you can see we are just above our spawner and i heard our first mob just drop down here so there we go guys we as well maybe place some glass so we don't fall down 
And here as well, once removing the torches, please make sure you place blocks like this all around the spawner. As you can see, our mobs will spawn, they will fall down, the current will take them up into the tower and all the way up here. As you can see, there's someone coming up. He looks very happy. And booyah kashaya! He's falling down. So maybe just wait for a second to more mobs come up here. Well, doesn't really matter. Let's just use the machine here. So take it down. As you can see, they're jumping about. Close them in. One hit, one hit, they are dead. Take the XP and we are happy campus. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to make it. Please make sure you like, comment or even subscribe if you haven't. And grab the world save in the description if you like it. And as well, please make sure you check out my good friend Soccer's tutorial bit because it's a very nice and you get a nice well, you get a lot of nice ideas from it and you will really understand how spawners work. So guys, until next time, goodbye!